All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends, and I hope today we'll have a good time together. You know, before I start, I was going to go speak about a different topic, which is Muhammad, the promising Muslims. To be rich more than 10 kings at least. But then I came here and I found some comments from Muslims. And I find it very hilarious. And as usual, you know, the Muslims always they give me the good idea for the good topic. Which means really, I don't really prepare myself. I mean, as you see, I switch it in a second. So when I saw those comments from the Muslims speaking about how come Jesus is God, but he do not know the judgment day. I said, that's a fair question. And it's a very good equality question, actually. But the problem is, Muslims don't practice the same question on themselves. <clears throat> If I ask a Muslim, how Allah is God, but yet he do not know the judgment day, what he will do? Hmm? You will see right away, he will flee, he will take a nap, he will start doing barbecue, he will start talking to his wife, but he will never give us the answer. We have a millions evidence from Muhammad's mouth that Allah do not know the judgment day. So the question here, as long the judgment day is a key point to prove who is God, who is not, how come you Muslims don't look at what is written in your books, which is a proving not only Allah do not know where the baby is coming from, how the baby is made. I mean, your God, how, how your God will know the judgment day if he could not, if you do not know what is in the woman's chest to the point he thinks she have a sperm coming from there. So I find it really hilarious when a Muslim speak about that topic. However, let us talk about Jesus. The Muslim, they, 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 they quote for you a verse where Jesus says, no one knows the hour but the Father, not even the Son. <clears throat> and we explain to them many times, you see, if you read the same chapter, you will see that Jesus, he know the hour. <clears throat> so what Jesus is talking about then, no one knows the hour. You see, the problem with Muslim, they don't know how to read like their prophet. All the chapter in front of you. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all tribes on, of earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of the Man coming in the cloud of heaven with the power and the great glory. And yet this person he do not know. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. Where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. Jesus now is coming in the power and the glory over the cloud. But he's a man. He's just a man. <laughs> and then he shall send his angels. Who shall send his angel? <laughs> Jesus, he will send his angels. Do you see it? I mean, you are a bunch of crazy people. The same chapter saying that Jesus is God. As long you are taking the verse from that chapter, what about you take those verses too? Who is the one who will send his angels? Those are the angels of who? The angels of God. Who? Jesus. Now learn from the parable of the fig tree. You know, the idiot sometimes they say to us, Oh, how come Jesus do not know the season of the fig tree? You see, it's a parable. <clears throat> Anything Jesus he do for us, even if a fig tree is real, it's a parable to learn from. When the fig tree did not give a fruit, this fig tree will die and will be cut and thrown in the hellfire. And then you will see, Jesus keep talking and talking and telling us what will happen in the judgment day. But as the day of Noah were, so shall... So, you know what? Let me play the whole chapter. And I know that hurt the feeling of the Muslims. They, they hate to, to hear the Bible. I, this is why I will play it. Let the devil go out. Matthew 24. And Jesus went out and departed from the <coughs> temple. And his disciples came to him, for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, 
There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars, and rumours of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in divers places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same, shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender, and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all
I apologize. It was uh, an error here from my side. Oh boy. I don't know how this happened. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, I will go back to, uh, to I was talking for a few minutes and you did not hear me. <laughs> That's a mistake from my side, actually. Anyway, so I was saying here that the Bible is so clear. <clears throat> the Bible is so clear. The Messiah is telling us about things shall happen before the judgment day come. The same as the day of Noah. What happened in the day of Noah? What happened exactly? That there is a person who warn and there is people who don't listen. There is people who they became so much into uh, sin and there is one person who reject the sin. So in the city of Sodom and Gomorrah, if there was 10 righteous people left in the city, God will not destroy it. Just 10. Which means judgment day in Christianity is based in our sin, not in a preset date. In Islam, everything is a preset date. Even the urination a Muslim he do in the bathroom, according to Muslims, Allah, he wrote in his book that Abdul, he will go to the bathroom, he will hold his private part, and he will shake it three times. That is in Islam, my friend. So as you see here, Christ, not only he knew the judgment day, Christ, he knew how it's going to happen. But all what he's saying, that the decision is not for the son of the man to know, not in this earth now, because we have long time to go. And it's based on your sin. How faster your sin come, then the judgment day will come. And then the father, he is the one who will make the decision. However, you will see here, that judgment of mankind is in the hand of Jesus the Christ, not in the hand of anyone. So when Jesus says, no one know the hour save the Father, that is his Father. Remember that. So how come you forgot to, that he mentioned the Father? And when he say, no one know but the Father, he is not saying that he do not know the judgment day. He is saying that judgment day is a decision will be made based in your sin, which means the father know when he will do make decision. But that decision is waiting for your action, human being, the same as the day of Noah, as he mentioned in the verse. The day of Noah will never happen if people are not committing sin. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also come in the Son of Man. So he is comparing exactly, literally, between what happened with Noah and his people and the coming of Christ. If people stay believers, there is no flood of Noah. And then nobody will die. As simple as that. So who brought the flood of, upon them? It was us. So we in a Christianity, we don't have a preset date for Judgment Day. This is what Christ is speaking about. Otherwise, he knew exactly all the signs. As you see, those things will happen. When those things will happen, look what he says here, which is amazing. Then shall two be in the field and one shall be taken and the other one left. Two women shall be grinding at mill on one shall be taken and the other one left. I mean, he is giving you details, uh, uh, how much details you want. And then he say here, therefore be, be you also ready for in a such hour, an hour, as you think not the Son of Man cometh. So the Messiah is saying to them, my coming will be a surprise for you. You will not be able to predict really when I'm coming, but be ready. Be ready for my coming. And yet you are saying to me, Jesus, you do not know the judgment day. All of those information he gave you, and yet you do not know. And not only that, Jesus, he is the one who will judge all mankind, as the Bible says. 
Look what John 16 verse number 30 says. Now are we sure that thou knowest all things, and needest not that any man should ask thee. By this we believe that thou comest forth from God. What is proving that Jesus is the Son of God who is coming from God, which means God who is coming in a humble human being flesh? He knows everything. So the Bible is a book, my friend. It's not a verse you quote and misquote as you wish, as you play always. Jesus, he knew all things, and this is all over the Bible. Uh, <clears throat> Someone saying, but Jesus said that be, uh, before he will judge, the last uh, good people uh, will be raised to him in heaven. I think it is not the same like Sodom and Gomorrah. Where Abraham, this is different. I mean, some people they fly with their thoughts. I mean, what does this have to do with my topic? Now, I'm not talking about exactly what Jesus will do. He just told you, he, the verse just said that one woman will be taken and the other woman will be left. A man will be, two men in the field, one will be taken and one will be left. Look like you are not focusing and you are not listening. I'm not saying the same as Sodom and Gomorrah will happen. I'm saying if there is 10 people left, in Sodom and Gomorrah, the city will not be burned. So, drink some coffee before you talk. Which means that judgment day will not come if not the whole earth is corrupt. Are you getting the point? So, when God will do judgment day is not a preset date. It is based in our action. The faster we are corrupt, the faster we are doomed, the faster the judgment day will come. So stop comparing in a silly way. Not thinking, you need to, you Muslims, the problem Muslims, they, try, they, they think about Christianity as if they are talking about Muhammad. Christianity is not Islam. In Islam, everything is a preset. As an example, even when you use your private part, it's a decision made by Allah. Let me show you. And this is shown as the stupidity of the cult of Islam. <clears throat> I mean, you don't have a freedom in Islam in anything. So when you say uh, judgment day, I mean, what we are talking about, there's no judgment day in Islam because already you've been judged before you are being created. Stupid religion. Verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in and which he, if of necessity, must commit. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? What judgment day? You must commit sin. Allah, he wrote for you. So why he will judge you? Do you know what I mean? I mean, what is the, what is the judgment? You, do you Muslim have judgment day? I mean, judgment day in Islam is the most silly, stupid thing. So Allah, he make you commit sin and then he will judge you for the sin he made you commit? <laughs> you know what I mean, guys? I mean, this is, the, this, this, is, this is a statement made by an idiot of the village. Verily Allah has fixed the verily portion of adultery which a man will indulge, which means a man will do. Excuse my English, it's not good. Hmm? and which he of necessity must commit necessity you idiot necessity mr is mr idiot so now i have to commit adultery as allah he forced me to do it and then he will punish me for he forcing me did it say necessity to commit i mean how stupid this cult is Uh, Muslim Abdullah, you want to call me? Oh, okay. Well, my Skype is not open, Muslim Abdullah. You are scary, my friend. To be honest with you, I'm shaking right now. <clears throat> yeah, let me open your Skype for you so to see how good you are.
We are always scared from Muslims, to be honest with you. All right. I will log in Skype and let us see Mr. Uh, what's his name? Muslim Abdullah. <clears throat> All right, Muslim Abdullah, let's see how good are you. Call me, my friend. <clears throat> or text me, I will call you. Just tell me what is your name, to be sure that this is you. Because there's many people look like they try to call. So to be sure which one is you. <clears throat> Text me, please. Yes. Go John ahead. 2017. Go ahead, my John. friend. You are live on air. Go what ahead. does Jesus say? John 20... My God, your God. What does he say? Okay, my God and your God. What does that mean? I have three options for you. Either you accept Jesus is mm. not God, mm. or you accept God has a God, mm. or you accept that the Bible is corrupted. Okay, well, let us see which option works for you. First of all, first of all, first, do, do, do you want me to answer you, or you want to, or, or you get the answer already? Do you want me to answer? Are you calling me to answer you, or you will answer yourself? Okay, answer. All right. Answer my question. Or okay, just let me answer you. Okay, let me answer you. Do the Christian believe? Okay. Do, do the Christian believe? Hold on. Take easy. Do the Christian believe in God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit? Sorry. Do the Christian believe in God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit? Then that verse contradicts your, your, your truth. No, no, I'm asking you yes or no. Either you say yes or you say no. I'm sorry. You believe the Bible is 100% true, don't you? Listen, listen. I, absolutely. I just answer you. You, you see, true, I, I corner you in a second and now you are trying to change the topic. Does the Bible teach that we believe in Bro, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit? And please answer don't change the topic you, you ask me a question let me get you busted so god the father you god the son god the holy spirit is jesus yes says no, no. Please, did, please jesus, did jesus says that he is obedient to the father please answer that i'm answering you did jesus say in the bible that he is obedient to the father i don't know did he Yes, he did and this is why he said my god and your god and you got busted and now i'm going to ask please. you okay. do do don't use don't use the effort idiot Faithful coward, don't use the F word. Okay, I'm not relaxed. Why, why you are using the F word? 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 Now listen, do your God know the judgment day? Do you, do you, do you, do your God have the, do, shut up, I answer you, I answer you about your question. It's my time to ask you a question, please. Can I? To you, I am you. To the free man, I am a free man. To the slave, I am a slave. Thank you very much. What? You are what? Tahir in Christianity. <laughs> Potato. Are you going to hang up now? No, I'm not going to. Okay, gonna, I'm, okay, I'm asking question. you in the front of me, in the front of me, in the front of me. I, ha I have a hadith. I have a hadith. I answered you. I have a hadith Same about you, no, about your God. You, you, let me talk. Let me talk. You see, they say I hang up on Muslim. He will not let me talk. Look, look. Okay, okay. He's like a machine. I believe he's, he's like a machine. He's like a machine. Are, are you going to let me? Are you going to let? Are you going to let me talk or no? Please answer this question. I answer you already. It's my time. One question from you. One question from me, please, if you don't mind. If you don't mind, I, you ask me a question. I uh, you ask me a question. It's my time to ask you a question. Please be 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 a man. Is that okay? Please. Sir. Okay. Do you believe Jesus is God? Okay. I just answered you about the first question you asked me. It's my time now to ask you a question. Can, yes. can we yes no, can clarify. we do that? Can we do that or no? Oh, first, clarify. <laughs> you see, my friend, Jesus not only my God, He is your God and the God of Muhammad, and Muhammad will kiss His shoes, and Muhammad will be judged by the shoes of Jesus. Now I answered you. Now, 
Can you please answer me? Can you answer me about this? How your God control your penis and he make you commit adultery and then he will punish you? For how how your God will punish you, you idiot? Are you going to stay keep talking? Shut the up. Bible is, is, is exposing you, Christian. The, the Bible is exposing you. You are a coward. You will not let me talk. This is the whole story, isn't it? Alhamdulillah. Okay, I'll let you talk. <laughs> okay. Answer that question. It says here, that it question. says, I answer you already. I say it. Verily, Allah has a fixed portion of question, adultery please. which a man so will my indulge. God, my God. My huh? father, your father. I answer you about that. Are you stupid? Are you going to repeat the same question again and again? Are you stupid? Okay. Okay, so how your how your God what's your, what's how you, your, how your God how your I'll, I'll listen I'll, listen I'll, I'll coward cow, coward coward potato how your okay, God talk, will talk, force talk, you talk. how your God force you to commit adultery and then He will punish you for committing adultery. Yeah, Explain to me. You're deflecting. <laughs> no, I'm showing you the hadith in the screen. It's in front of you. Allah has <laughs> fixed the very portion of adult. I answer you about your question. You are a stupid or what? How many times I can repeat? I did. I said to you. I said to. I said to you. I said to you. Jesus said that he is obedient to the Father. He just. Jesus said, "My God and your God." For Jesus, he teaching us that there's God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Now you have to answer me. What kind of father? What? What? Listen. No. 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 Hold on. You can reply. You did reply already. You are a potato. Are you scared for me to reply? No. You. You will reply. Hold on. Hold on. I will let you reply as much. I promise. You, I will, I will be, never be, hang be, up be, on you. But, but one be, question, one question from you, one question from me. Otherwise, I will hang up on you. One so, question from you, one question from me. Either you say yes, or I will hang up on you. Okay. Why, oh. why, 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 why? Well, I answered you. It's your, it's my turn, my friend. It's my turn to ask you a question. The same way you asked me, I answered you. Now, how your God is ordering you to commit adultery and He's forcing you to do it, and yet He will punish you for doing adultery. The mic is yours. Go ahead. Read the hadith, it's in the front of you. Read it. Are you blind? Uh, okay, uh, let me let me research. Well, say again. What do you mean research? The hadith in the Where's front the of hadith? you. The hadith in the front of you on the screen. <clears throat> Tell me the 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 source. The source. It is the Eve hadith. I said where where what book? It's a book. Of, it's, a bo book it's a book. It's a book of Daif. Book of Daif. The book of Daif. Daif, yes, book of Daif, Hadith number. Uh, what does Daif mean? Hadith, hadith number. Uh, this is the name of the book, the Daif Hadith. The book of week. In yes, the, Arabic. yeah, the big, oh, the big of Daif Hadith, yeah. Daif week. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's I, listen, I'm showing you the Hadith in the screen. Please read it and answer what do you me. What for me? It's a book of Daif. Yes, the book of Daif. You are again exposed by the 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 Hadith itself. Will you, why you don't answer me? What kind of God he forced you? What kind? Read the hadith and then we will see what book it is. Read the hadith first. What does Daif mean? Please, what does Daif, Daif mean? is you, like your God. Your God is Daif. Your God, he, weak. Your, your, he God, weak. Your, your God is a weak God. We know that. Now, this is the why question. Don't you tell your ignorant friends listen, that, listen. Please. Why you will not answer? Why, why you, you are avoiding friends? the answer? Why you are avoiding the answer? You are in trouble, right? What kind of why God? Don't you what, say, what kind of. You what, what, what Daif, kind of. Why what, don't you say that? What? Why don't you tell them that it is a Daif hadith? I just told you, I told you this is the Eve Hadith. You're telling me right now because I told you to give me the source. Okay, and now are you going to answer or not? It's, it's a Daif Hadith. So? What do you want from me? So if it's Daif, it's not accepted? It's weak. So you are it, saying the yeah, one... It's most okay. likely, it's, it doesn't... It, it's weak, it's... It's most likely false. Ah, it's false. Okay. It's weak. So it's false, guys. Here it we go. Weak. Okay. Well, this is Sahih Hadith. Bro, you, this is Sahih Hadith. You idiot. I got you busted. You are a stupid idiot, and you, I got you busted. This is Sahih. This is Sahih nah, Muslim. Allah, Allah. This is Sahih I'm Muslim. Again, this is Sahih Muslim. Hadith number two six five seven. Sahih Muslim. Hadith number two six five seven. And you are an idiot, and you got busted. Now. What kind of God he is going to make you use your private part and commit adultery and then he will cut it for you for using it? Bismillah. Answer. Has fixed uh, the very portion of adultery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What happened? Are you in trouble? Okay. So what's your point then? My point is Allah will force you to do adultery and then he will punish you for adultery. How does... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, listen, listen. <laughs> the very portion of man adultery commits 
if a proportion of a Dolce and Man can miss, okay, what, what, what's your point? I just tell you a story. Are you going to repeat the this same is, question again? What's your point? 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 My point what's is, point? let me repeat my point. Let me repeat, my, let me repeat my point to a slow Where Muslim. Does it say we my my point, it says he must commit. Are you blind? He must. Where is, where, okay, where, I'm sure I'm not like you, innit? Where does it say? It says here, he, which he of necessity must commit. He which of necessity must commit Allah will force you to do adultery he wrote for you a portion simple of English, adultery simple English the person <laughs> that is uh, necessity means the person that is he's going to commit it. Yeah. yeah but he, he will indulge Allah, who, wrote for, who, wrote, who wrote it for him who wrote it for him so dumb, who wrote? Who wrote? Who, who, who wrote? Who has the fixed portion for him of adultery? Who is the one? Does it say Allah has fixed of the very portion of adultery? <laughs> you give me a hadith that is daif, and I answer you from that daif week. Yeah. But uh, Abdul, potato. This is not daif. Potato, potato. This is this is this is not this is not this is not daif. Abdul, I was making fun of you. You are stupid. This is had sahih. You just said Daif Hadith. I was making fun of you because you will say to me it's Daif. I know what you will say. This is Sahih Muslim. I told you. You're not listening. Okay. Sahih Muslim 2657. Okay, okay then so, if, if it's Sahih. Okay. Listen, in in sahih, Allah. People of necessity. Okay. You, do you it's, know it, what yeah, but means? it says who is the one who wrote for you the you know, very you portion of Adul? Who is the one who wrote for you? Listen, Abdul. It says there in the beginning, verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery. What What has fixed the very portion of adultery mean? It says people of necessity. Listen. It's, listen, listen, listen. What Allah. You said. It says Allah he wrote. Say? Allah. It says every Allah. Man shall Abdul. Every man shall commit. Where does it say? Exactly. That? It says he. Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery. Start from me and explain. Go ahead. Line by line. Go ahead. The portion of adultery. Look. Yeah. Mm. Portion of adultery. Which mm. man indulges in? Mm. It's okay. It's basically who is the one who fixed that very that portion? Who is the man? Who is the, man, who is the, the one? Of adoshi, a man commits. Okay. Who is the? What, so what's wrong with that? I don't, who I don't who know is the one mean. who has fixed the portion of adultery? Who? What his name? The one who has the fixed portion of adultery? Is that the man or Allah? Stop. Listen. Tell me. <laughs> Adultery, a man in, uh, I'm asking you, who is account? the one who made the fixing of the very portion? Is it the man or Allah? Who decide the fixed portion? Is it the man or Allah who decide the fixed portion of adultery? Allah said, okay, what's wrong? Mm. So the Allah, portion, it's, it's so Allah, He decide for you how much adultery you will do, correct? Where does it say every man he did? Abdul, does it say Allah? It's for everyone. It says every man. Every man. Okay, so guys, this, this, is, this is not for every man. This, this is for who? This is not, guys, this is this is not for every man. Okay, this is for who? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, it says which a man will indulge. This is shut up. Just go. Go stupid. Let your mom call me. I don't. I don't want to talk to kids. What a stupid potato. I thought you are a man, you are a kid, you want to just shout and make me lose my voice. We got you busted. Coward like your prophet. Any donkey in the world can read English, he understands clearly. Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery, which a man will endure. Any man. This is not for a specific man, so don't play games. You are a coward like your prophet. So what judgment day? So Allah will make you do adultery and then he will punish you in the judgment day for adultery? What a stupid God. And just to show you how stupid you are, the second I say Da'if, you, you get lucky. It's Da'if. <laughs> this is Da'if. <laughs> da'if. <laughs> it is not Da'if, you donkey. I was trapping you because you Muslims are not honest. I say to you Sahih, you say Da'if. I say Da'if, you say Sahih. It doesn't matter what I say, you will say the opposite. We know the game. And not only that, according to your stupid prophet, that a Muslim, he might go to hell or heaven, not based in his deeds. It is based in what Allah, he wrote for him. Let us read together. <laughs> My God and, and your God. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And supposedly he knew Arabic. You know, Daif, it's Daif, supposedly Daif, he speak Arabic, supposedly. What an idiot. Look what your prophet's saying, my friend. You Muslims will go to hell no matter what you do. Or heaven. It is written for you how stupid this cult is. And by Allah, a person among you, or a man. Oh, he said a person. Huh? He said a man. Which man? <laughs> if I'm speaking to this guy now, he would say, which man? Which man? Any man? 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 It says a man. A man. Man. Not every man. A man. <laughs> Me do the deeds of people of the fire. That there is only one a cupid or an arm breathe distance between him and the fire. Oof, 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 oof. The person is doing the deed of hellfire and almost there is one meter between him and the gate of hellfire and what will happen then but then but then that is written which Allah ordered the angels to write please proceed <laughs> and he does the deed of people of paradise and he enter paradise I mean what a crazy cult so look at this donkey who they call him God he will force you to deeds to do deeds which either bad or good and the deed he forced you to do will take you either to hell or to heaven and the man may do the deeds of people of paradise that there's only one only one a cupid only a cupid or two between him and paradise and then and then that writing proceed and he does the deeds of people of fire and he enter it what a stupid cult <laughs> so you see we give even stupid children to call us chance and look what happened to them he starts lying, fabricating, says that this is not about every man. But as you see, we confirm it. This is for every human being. Muhammad is not talking about a human being only, talking about every human being. When he says a man, it says any man. And here we ask ourselves, if Allah will send me to hell or to heaven, based in the deed he wrote for me, so what believing in Islam mean? And what big praying mean? If at the end of the day is what wrote for him, it's going to happen. Read carefully. This is a different hadith. It says, By him beside whom there is no God, that one amongst you, one amongst you, the guy now he's calling me, he says, see, one amongst you, not all of us. <laughs> you act like the people of deserving paradise. Enter between him and paradise, there is a remain of a distance of a cupid. When suddenly the writing of destiny overcome him and they began to act like the distance of hell and thus enter hell. Do you see it? Stupid cult. Stupid cult. What judgment day? Yeah, there is no judgment in the Islam. I mean, the idea of judgment day in Islam is stupid because already the judgment is done. Correct, guys? Isn't this is what this hadith is saying? Why you need judgment day? Already it's written. It's already written in the book of Allah, the deed which is forcing you to do, which will make you go to heaven or to he to hell. So the idea of judgment day in Islam is a stupid idea. This is number one. Number two, the belief in Islam is a stupid belief. Because as you see, here we go. Let us say, another one, act the way of this and fell. This, let us say this is a Christian prince. He's a bad, bad person, bad person. Until there is remain between him and hell distance of a cupid, the, that the writing of destiny overcome him and then he began to act like people of paradise and inter paradise <laughs> i said daif you stupid cp yeah i said daif because he will say to me if i i will, I will say to him the hadith daif this is just to show people how muslim they play game the second you say to them daif they, they, they think they find like a, okay daif we love it we don't like it <laughs> it's, it's rejected <laughs> daif first of all the word daif does not mean rejected your liar daif it means it has rank and it's accepted 
This is why they call it Da'if. Da'if, go and watch the video of Imam Hamza, Sheikh Hamza. He says to you, those who say that they come with the Da'if, the weak arg Da'if argument, they, they have weak, weak hadith, they come with weak argument. For weak hadith, it pass. It did not flunk. Flunk. Go watch your sheikhs making fun of your stupidity. So the second I say to you, this is Da'if, you love it. I'm lying? No, I'm not lying. No. I'm just exposing your lies. Because lying, if I say something and I plan not to show it, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm playing you, Muslims, to expose your lies, how you switch your opinion in a second. The second I say da'if, second, suddenly, this hadith is potato. The second I say it is a sahih, and I show the proof, Suddenly, this hadith is amazing. So, a moment ago, this hadith is garbage. A moment after, the hadith is correct. It's good. And it's perfect. There's no mistake there. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> and look, look, at this, uh, look at their strategy. If they call you, they will not let you talk. How Jesus says, my God and your God, I got you, <laughs> you idiot. Christianity believes in the Trinity, you idiot. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, you idiot. So do God have God? Do God have God? Well, I, you know, and let, let me go with your logic. If we go in the Quran, the Quran says it is your God, Allah. Who is talking? Who is talking? Allah. Okay, who is the God of Allah? How Allah is saying in the name of Allah if he is Allah? Hmm? <clears throat> Let us see some jokes in the Quran. Look at this. Allah says, uh, I'm using the Indonesian translation. Let's switch to English. It is he, Allah. Look, it is, it is he. It is he who. He, he, who. Ha, he, ha. It is he. Allah saying, it is he who has created for you all things. It is he who. Who's talking? Who's talking? Who is this person who is saying it is he? Anyone can tell me? It is he. <laughs> what a crazy cult. Oh, this verse is Da'if too. If Allah is talking, why he is saying it is he who has created you all things obviously this book is written by a man he always forget to switch the author he's telling us that Allah is the one who created everything as simple as that Do we have any Muslim? He's a little bit decent. He would like to call me and he will not screen or he will let me talk. Anyone? Any Muslim have little decency to let me at least talk? I mean, it's my program. Let, 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 they will not let me talk. You believe it? You know, the, the, the reason they will not let me talk because they are scared. Like when Mimi Hijab, he said to the Muslims, do you want me to debate the Christian prince? The, the Muslims, they, they believed him. They thought we are going to debate. The second we call him, you know, Christian prince, uh, play this video. Mute him, shut him up. 
They will not let me talk. Cowards, potatoes. What is the debate? When somebody is terrified and scared, he will not stop talking because he is in the panic. He's talking to Christian Prince. If he if I let him talk, he will make me shish kebab. I will not let that happen. I will keep talking. Oh my God, in your God. Hey, reach for me, John Jabdin, and you guys here the Gazi, and you guys here with the do let me talk. And you guys here with the Gazi, and you guys here with the Gazi, and you guys here with the Gazi, and only Allah knows what He's saying. And then I have to shout and scream and tell him, please, can I talk? You guys, you guys, I tell him, you guys, why you don't answer me? Without Gazi, I was after. Abdul, let me answer you. Okay, I will answer you. Uh, Tappy, we, we don't want to change the topic now. Today's topic is about, about the judgment day. Let us go back to the judgment day. If you are a Muslim who speak nicely, you can talk as much as you want. Yesterday we have a, a Muslim lady, the day before, she spoke for me like two hours. Right? I, you know, I let her say whatever she wants. Just speak nice, let me talk, you will talk, and everybody will listen. As simple as that. Well, Abdullah, we are scared of you. We, you know, you are you, you are a radio machine. You will not let me talk. You are a potato. I want an adult. I don't talk to kids. You prove to me that you are not an adult. Look how many lies you said to me. Anyone is watching, he will laugh at you. You said this hadith here is not about every man. It's about a man. And you said to me where it says that Allah will force you. We showed you second hadith, which is saying clearly, that you must commit you it's a it's it's a destiny it's a destiny you have to commit do you see do you see how many hadith i have against you so you are a potato there's no point of speaking to a kid who just want to shout and scream i'm not a kid you see i speak to kids in your age because your age is not really the age of years, the age of your brain. So I'm not a kid to speak to, an, a, to someone with your brain who will not let other people talk. Learn the manner first. You ask a question, I give you the answer. I ask you a question, you answer me. And when you try to lie, people will laugh at you. As you see, that the sin which Allah he wrote for you, it suppress. It suppresses. Do you do you know do you know English? Do you know English, my brother? Suppresses. This is what Allah wrote for you, your destiny. It's not a choice. And then that has been written by the angel, suppresses. Sorry, uh, uh, surpasses. And so he started, starts doing the deeds. Do you see it? So the surpasses will happen, which is what? The order of Allah. So the adultery you do is made by Allah. Let me show you what happened to Adam, just to show you how full you are. How Adam, he commits sin. No, Adam did not commit sin according to Islam. Allah forced him to commit sin. Let me show you. And this is why we laugh at such a cult. Read carefully. If you have little brain, use it. If you don't have a brain, then don't use it. Otherwise, it might hurt you. Adam and Musa, they have a debate according to the funny Muhammad. He said, the Prophet said Adam and Musa argued with each other, Musa says to Adam, O oh Adam, you are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise. Here we go. Musa is a Christian, believe in the teaching of Christ, original sin. And this is a proof that Muhammad is a fraud because the Muslim, they claim that Musa was a Muslim. But yet now Musa is in heaven, debating with Adam in heaven, and Musa, the prophet of Allah, he don't understand 
that original sin is wrong in Islam. Have you ever heard of a stupid story like the story of Muhammad? Are you listening, guys? The story here be, uh, proved to us that the Muslim argument that Musa was a Muslim is a big bust to Muhammad. We get him busted and we kick him in his bum. Musa here believe in the original sin. Obviously, Musa cannot be a Muslim because whoever believe in the original sin, he is obviously Christian. Or taking his teaching from Christianity. So how Musa is a Muslim? Moses is a Muslim. You are right. And then Adam said to Moses, who he, Musa, believed in the original sin. He said to him, O Moses, Habibi, Allah favored you with his talk, Habibi, and he wrote the Torah for you, Habibi, with his hand, Habibi. Do you blame me for an action which Allah had written in my fate 40 years before my creation, Habibi? I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid story like this, Habibi? So Adam, he been forced to commit sin and his sin was a destiny, was a fate for him 40 years before his creation, Habibi. Have you ever heard of a stupidity more than this, Habibi? So when this liar, he, de he deny, he say, no, we don't believe in that. We get you busted. You are the same as Mimi Hijab who said to uh, David Wood. Uh, David Wood, he says, uh, uh, Allah has part. Who said so? Who said so? Allah said so. Muhammad said so. <laughs> so we have no time for a stupid talk, my friend. We spank you and we take you with some meat and we throw you as bones. And everybody now, you are the one who used the F word, you filthy. You are talking about insult? Guys, did he say the F word to me? A person calling to debate and to defend Allah, he used the F word. Well, obviously, you are speaking about the F religion. Because if you are not from the F in God, you will not use the F word in your debate. And you are talking about insult? After less than... 60 seconds from you calling me, you use the F word. Not even 60 seconds. This is how much it hurt. Even though I did not hit your bum yet. And you are talking about dignity. You said the F word is recorded and I said to you why you are saying the F word. Everybody hear it. Guys, did I say to him why you are saying the F word? <laughs> It's recorded. <laughs> Provide evidence, you eat it, it's recorded. It's in the video here. After we finish, people will hear it. No sound? Oh, look like I have a bad broadcast. Oh, boy. All right, is it better now? Is it better now? Yeah, sometime we uh, we have a slow connection. Sometime, not always. Is it coming? Are we good? All right. And anyway, you know, for me, I just get you busted, and we prove you that you are a liar. You say that the hadith does not say that every Muslim man, he shall commit sin, and this is sin is written by Allah. And as you see in the front of us, we are showing reference after reference, proving that you are nothing but a liar. And there's no point even to speak to a liar. Go and celebrate your lies with the devil. The hadith in the front of us is clear from any games. Your prophet get you busted, not me. So when you try to defend by lying, people are laughing at you. If we read the hadith again. Don't talk about insult. You are a Muslim who call us nudges, call us pigs, call us dogs, call us uh, uh, donkeys. You call us all names and you are talking about insult 
and you use the F word and you attack us and even you use violence and you kill us and you kidnap our women and then you talk about insult suddenly a Muslim he play a victim after we spank him he play a victim anytime you lose your voice just refresh YouTube you refresh your page just refresh your page so read carefully with me verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in which a man what will indulge which a man which man any man mankind any man so when you lie and you say this is not what it's saying we are laughing And there is no point of me to talk to you. You will not let me talk. It does say every man. Okay, are you saying this is only for a man? Okay, I will go with you just to show you how stupid you are. Guys, This it, it, is, it is a man, not every man. Okay, why Allah will write for a man the adultery he will do as destiny? <laughs> I will go with you. Just to show you how stupid you are. What kind of God he will force a man to commit adultery? Okay, okay, Abdullah, Abdullah. You see, obviously your IQ, your IQ is extremely high. And that's why we could not understand you, my friend. Let me take a, a, a screenshot of your words. So everybody will laugh. Hmm. Selfie with, uh, with Abdullah. Guys, it doesn't say that CP. What? It doesn't say that CP. It doesn't say what? It doesn't say every man CP. It says what then? It says a man. <laughs> what a comedy. It doesn't say every man. Okay, hold on. So are you saying that Allah, he don't do that to every man? What's wrong with Allah? Is he all justice or not justice? Because if he don't do it to every man, that means Allah is not a justice God. Are you okay? Allah, he make certain law for one man in the world. <laughs> yeah. Abdul, when your prophet, he said, just to show you first how stupid you are. In Arabic, it doesn't even say a man. It says, Inna Allah kataba ala ibni Adam. Allah, he wrote for the sons of Adam, you donkey. Do you see how we get you busted? So you play a game, and you go left, and you go right, and you go up, and you go down, and then we spank you with no mercy. Does it say the son of Adam, you idiot? Who is the sons of Adam? Obviously not you, because you are a son of a donkey, maybe. Are you a son of Adam or a son of a donkey? If you are a son of a donkey, then you are an exception. The hadith isn't about you. If you are a son of Adam, then this hadith is about you. Do you see how stupid you are, Abdullah? Are you there, Abdullah? Abdullah, are you there with that? I'm not insulting you are the one saying to me just get out of here man get out of here let your daddy let your daddy come back you get busted and this is recorded and people will, you became famous my friend this video I want you to download this video put it in the channel tell them I call Christian Prince and look what happened <laughs> don't come here again we want adult so look how they lie and they try to manipulate the story to cover the story and to cover the shame of their God. The God saying that in Muhammad that the son of Adam will commit sin, not just a man. This is a translation saying a man. In Arabic it says, you know what, let me do this just to show, show, show this idiot that we don't lie like him and like his prophet. We don't. We are Christians. Here we go. This is, I will, I will do this in the front of your eyes, guys. I will click translate to English, and we will have two translation, which mean the translate the, the translation which is in the left here, 
translated by Muslims. And the translation, which is in the, the, the Arabic uh, uh, text, which is going to be translated by Google. Is that fair? Let us see what it says. <clears throat> Read with me. Read with me. Do you see the word said? What, what language is that? I don't know for what language translating. I think it translating to, uh, to uh, Indonesian. Hold on, hold on. What is that? I want to translate to what happened here. Why we are? How we can switch the translation? Oh boy! How we can change the translation? Translate? No. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let us see how we can switch to English. I mean, what is that? I think Google is convinced now that I am an Indonesian, maybe, or I, uh, <clears throat> let, hold on, here maybe, okay, translation option, um, okay, original, translate option, change language, all right, unknown page, translate language, from Arabic to English, okay, let's see here now. Maybe now it's going to work. Hold on. No. Okay, option. Change language. All right. Arabic. For some reason, is not recognizing Arabic. I'm not sure why. Here we go. Translate. All right. Read, Abdul. Read. <laughs> written on the son of adam god has written on the son of adam the potato he's saying this is not for every man so when your prophet says the son of adam he don't mean every man what he mean every duck Do you see, guys, how you debate Muslims? Don't show them all your paper right away. Let them let them walk in the quicksand. You know, a Muslim when he call me, he's like a duck. He start like start with her legs and start walk, 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 walk. The more they do walk, walk, the more they are in trouble. And then at the end, show them what is enough to destroy all the delusion they try to build to defend their God. So it says the son of Adam and here right away we notice that Islam cannot be from God because what kind of God he will punish me for sin he forced me to do. I mean what is that? How this can be from God? So this God he made me uh, get horny and go and do have adultery and sleep with women and this is what he decided for me to do before he created me. And then he will punish me for doing what he ordered me and forced me to do. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? This is how we do it. If you are a Muslim would like would like me to call you, please text me. I will be happy to call you. But please take take into consideration. If you want to talk to me, let me talk. You see, we are not like Muslim channels. We will, not let you talk. we will let you talk as much as you want. Just let me talk. I mean, it's a conversation. It's not a person calling to shout. So if you are going to call me to force me to shout and scream and ask, please, can I talk? I mean, it's my program. And yet you Muslim, they will not let me talk. Because you are terrified. I understand. <clears throat> Let us see if we have any Muslim would like to call us. I hope people will stop sending me uh, text saying you are good. I mean, you don't need to say we love you. I mean, I, I appreciate that, but it's too many. The Prophet had several children from his first marriage to Khadija, and even he had son named Ibrahim. 
This is Islam Wahid, the one who called me two days ago using voice changer. I think it was a male using a female voice changer. How, this is how brave they are. Uh, and infant in 10 years. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, Islam Wahid, the one who called me two days ago, saying that the Prophet, he have kids from Khadija. None of the kids of Khadija are his kids. Khadija, well, she was married to three men before him, two men before him at least. And the verse in the Quran confirmed that Muhammad, he cannot have a children. This is how ignorant the Muslims are. Isn't it the Quran says that there is a man who was making fun of him and he called him Abtar? which mean he's cut off. Muslim, they claim that cut off is not about his penis cut off, but obviously the man, he was claiming that he's cut off. His private part is not working. Uh, <clears throat> Chapter 108, a verse from the Quran is speaking about something very silly, very stupid. It cannot be from God. It is from Muhammad who been insulted by a man who was making fun of him because his private part is not working. And look at this verse. I mean, have you ever heard of a chapter? Is it three verses? That's it? Can't you make it uh, longer, bigger, taller, shorter? What is this? Three verses? Quran, three verses? What happened? Allah is out of words? Then we have, we gone to the fount. What fount? Fount of water. What is that? What kind of water? al kawthar What kawthar It's a river. What river for what? I mean, look at the connection between the verses. This is stupid. Therefore, uh, to the Lord, turn into prayer and sacrifice. Why? Muhammad needs to sacrifice for what? What is this? What the, what, what the relationship with giving you a river and then pray to Allah and sacrifice. And then the one who say that you are cut off, he is the one is cut off. <laughs> Anybody understand anything? So look what we have in the verse. We have a river. We have a sacrifice and we have a cut off. What is the relation between of them? How this can be from God? A man, he accused him that he is cut off, his penis is not functioning. Allah, he is making a chapter to say to the man, no, Muhammad, his private part is working fine. And giving Muhammad a river because he was insulted? What he would do with this river? Is that Pepsi? Is that a sperm? This is a chapter. I mean, can you call it even chapter? Imagine this is a chapter. Chapter 108, three verses. <clears throat> this is cannot be from God. And then the Quran says that Muhammad was not the father of any of your children or your men. <clears throat> Confirming history that Muhammad was a cut off. Unless you want to say the Quran is weak, which is, I agree, it is weak. Muhammad, after having sex with all those women, how come he could not have children? Remember, Muhammad, he claimed that he invoked Allah and he sent him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it. He got the power of 40 men in boom boom which is a hilarious story because that's God. He cannot make Muhammad private part function correctly unless he make, he go to the kitchen and he use some recipe, get herbs, Viagra, 
mix it with the uh, hot pepper you know ginger uh, you know bring in some uh, a spice from India I don't know what he did in the kitchen but it made Muhammad supposedly get the power of 40 men now I don't know like this guy he took us away from our topic so you see we were talking about if Jesus know the judgment day or not we proved that this is absolutely false statement from the Muslims but look the Quran proved to us in every single verse in the Quran that Allah cannot be God and he do not know the judgment day let us go to one verse in the Quran which is enough to prove to us the whole story all of you heard the Muslims claiming that Muhammad Allah he split the moon for him but nowhere in the Quran it says that by the way <laughs> it's very stupid verse You see, when you read in the Bible that Jesus, he made a, a miracle, you will see the story, who was there, the, uh, the, the incident, the crowd, the people, the names. Here, there's nothing. Chapter 54, verse number 1. The judgment day is nigh, and the moon eclipsed ascend. What is that? If Allah is the one who split the moon, why he is not saying, I split the moon, and the judgment day is near? Allah here instead is reporting an eclipse claiming that this is judgment day how that can be you know what I mean do you see it and the one who is saying to me go back to Egypt kept don't worry we are going to go back to Egypt and we will take it back this is the land of the Coptic we will have it always the land come back to the real owner and actually even your prophet he said that the Christians will control the land unless he's a false prophet how that can be this is a prophecy made by Muhammad God 1400 years ago and until now the judgment day did not happen do you see it hmm? Any Muslim have an answer for this? How the eclipse became the judgment day sign? People asking me to make videos with subtitles in Indonesian. You guys, do you think I speak Indonesian to make subtitles in Indonesian? How I would do that? This is your duty, not my duty. Download my video and add an Indonesian subtitle. So you want me to speak, to fight, to debate, to lose my voice, to spend the night up. And then in the top of that, after I finish, I go and I add subtitles in a language I don't speak. I must be, uh, I mean, that's uh, that James Bond. All of this I have to do, add subtitles in, in Indonesian. I don't speak Indonesian. So it's not enough for me. I'm making the videos, fighting with the Abdul, and you are having fun watching. In the top of that, please add subtitle in Indonesian, brother. Okay, I feel like I'm a waiter work, working in the restaurant. What is missing is where is the salt? Do you have tomato? All of this I have to do. So what you do? What do you do? You watch me? Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I mean, you cannot make people happy. It doesn't matter what you do, even if you cut yourself pieces. Hold on, let me. But by the way, the Muslims always destroy me, guys. I am number one person who order glue from Amazon. The Muslim, they think I'm ordering glue to glue myself. No, to glue Muhammad. Because each time we go online, we break in pieces. And if we break in pieces like this, how are we going to break in pieces again tomorrow? So we have to glue him, put him together. No, my friend, don't add subtitle for me. 
none of the work you are doing is for me you are doing it for the Lord you see if you take my video and you add subtitle and you download it you are not doing it for me who care about me who is me you don't do you even know me and what I will get from your video me myself I mean if you if you download it you are not doing anything to me you see when somebody if somebody translate even my book is he doing it to me no Either you are a Christian doing it to the Lord or you are doing it for your own reason. And when I am doing the video, this video, I'm doing it to me? No, I'm doing it to the Lord. I'm not doing it to myself. Same for you. If you download my video, you add subtitle, you are not doing it to me. I do not need your favor to me. I need nothing from you. Either you do it because you believe you should do it or don't do it. All right. <clears throat> uh, but as you see, we have endless verses and proofs that Allah cannot be God. He do not know the judgment day, when it is going to be. Uh, he do not know. Uh, okay, hold on. If we ask the Muslims now, how many prophecy Muhammad he made about the judgment day? I mean, there's tons of them. Each one of them is hilarious. Is what? Hilarious. Let me show you one of them. One of the signs of the judgment day <clears throat> let us see if we can find it here in English That would be fun. Let me show you this one. Oh, hold on. They will say to you, this is the Eve chain, the Eve chain, brother. Uh, Al Jassasa. Who is Al Jassasa? Al-Jassasa is a beast, but she is a woman. She have a long hair. <laughs> she live in a castle in an island in the middle of the sea. Really? Uh-huh. The message of Allah said one day, from the plop it when some people were sitting in the sea like jack sparrow are you there jack sparrow there is food was finished they are out of sandwiches an island appeared to them they went out seeking the bread they were met by the jassasa Oof. between two bracket the antichrist spy if, 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 if. I said to Abu Salama, What is a Jassasa? He replied, <laughs> A woman, a woman with a trailing, trailing the hair of her skin and of her head, she said in this castle. He then narrated, narrated the rest of number one blah 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 tradition hadith etc so who what is a jassasa and look how muhammad is confused once he say a jassasa is going to send by allah and is going to have the staff of Moses and is going to have the ring of Suleiman and is going to make the, the muslim white and the, and the and the infidel black and here he is saying she is an antichrist spy and she is a woman she have a long hair look at this hadith here and this hadith is sahih.
the message of Allah one delayed the congregational night prayer why why he delayed it is it the prayer is important no he came out and he said the talk of Tamim Adari Adari the guy his name is Tamim he told him a story Muhammad he believe it it's from God that's it and then he said speaking about an island in the sea all of a sudden he found a woman who was trading her hair he asked who are you she said I am the Jassasa go to the, that castle so I came and I found a man who was trading his hair chained in iron collar and looping lipping between the heaven and earth this is in the castle of Dracula I asked who are you he replied I am the Dajjal, the Antichrist. And he said, Has the prophet of the illiterate people come forth now? I replied, Yes. He said, Have they obeyed him or disobeyed him? I said, no, they have obeyed him. He said, huh, that is better for them. <laughs> Unbelievable. Ahil, uh, uh, Ahil, how are you? Ibn Farouk, are you a person who was born again, cult invented in the 950. Uh, uh, Farouk, you are an idiot, uh, a donkey, because the Bible says, which is written 2000 years ago, about be born again, you idiot. So what 1950? Don't you know that the Bible speak about being born again, Christian, you idiot? And this is a book written 2000 years ago, potato. You are a follower of a cult. Focus with me with the Jassasa now. Here we go. The Antichrist is in jail in the castle of Dracula. And you're a prophet saying that this is a true story. Hmm. Idiot. You do not know your religion and suddenly you, you want to tell us about what is the born again. Do you know even what born again mean? Let us show you the born again verse to show you that you are a certified idiot. Literally, not metaphorically. Hmm. <clears throat> if we go to John chapter 3, verse number 3, uh oh, 2 3 will hit in the head of the Muslim. Jesus answered him, saying, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless you, one of you, one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And this idiot saying that the born again started in 1950. Well, you know what? You need 1950 zucchini before you sleep in your nose. Now, let us go back to our topic. Was Muhammad telling the truth about al jassasa and the Antichrist, which is a sign from the Judgment Day? And this Antichrist is jailed in an island? Where is that island? I want to go there. Is that in Hawaii? Or Burkina Faso? Huh? The guy, he told him a story right away. Muhammad, he started teaching it and he added it to his religion. The guy, he just told him a story. The signs of the judgment day. Do Allah know the judgment day? Who is a Muslim who is willing to call me and prove to me that Allah, he knew the judgment day? As I know, Allah do not know even how the baby is made. So how he will know the judgment day? The signs of the judgment day, Muhammad, he said. 
that judgment day will not come until the Roman became the major population of mankind. By the way, just yesterday, the president of Italy, he made an alarm that the number of Italy is, de is, uh, is uh, decline because they are not having enough babies. So where is the pro prophecy of Muhammad? Just yesterday, go watch, the new, go research Google. The president of Italy warning the citizen of Italy that we are not having enough babies. Our number of citizens is decline. Muhammad saying that judgment day will not come until the Roman they are the major population of the earth. How that happened, brother? Hmm? Was Muhammad drunk? Is the Roman the majority of mankind, brother? Let us see the hadith. Hold on. A clear evidence that Muhammad is a fraud. When judgment judgment day happen, according to Muhammad, the Roman they will be the major population of the earth, the dominated. I heard Allah Messenger. Hey, hold on, they will say this is daif. No, this is not. Sahih Muslim, hadith number 2898. B. I heard Allah Messenger saying, the last hour would come when the Roman would form the majority amongst the people. I mean, how the Prophet he knew this man? Look at the Roman. Look at the Roman. They are the number one population in the world. For sure, Muhammad knew about the judgment day. His God told him that. Allah, he knew. Huh? Do you see it? How this is, can be from God? Uh, Farouk, you are like a person who have a diarrhea. You keep repeating the same thing. Get lost out of here. You know, you keep talking about the 150 cult, 150 cult. You are a follower of a cult. Get out of here. This is the only thing you have to say. Born again Christian in 1950. Born again Christian in 1950. Born again Christian in 1950. Let me show you, you idiot. The Orthodox, who their church 2,000 years old, is born again Christian. The Catholic, who their church is 2,000 years old, is born again Christian. The Protestant, because this is the Bible, you idiot. Christ saying that you will not enter the kingdom of my father. This is in the time of a Christ, not 1950, you idiot, stop. Don't get married, okay? Your wife, she will commit suicide. In the best scenario, she will get bald because she will keep ripping off her hair each time you talk about having such a donkey husband. Do you see Jesus saying that you will not enter? No one can see the kingdom of God of, of, the, of the father unless he is a born again Christian it's 1950 1950 it's 1950 brother 1950 the cult of a Christian created 1950 and born a Christian I'm being impatient. What do you think? You know, if I am not patient, I will not be able to talk about this topic all this year. Trust me, this topic will make you have heart attack. Because most of the time you feel you are talking to the walls. I mean, we have to repeat the same thing 100 times to make the Abdul understand or listen. <clears throat> now, who is a Muslim will tell me how Muhammad, he knew the judgment day and he says such a statement. And who is the one told him that? Allah. This is about the judgment day. Allah told Muhammad 
uh, the judgment day when, when the judgment day happened the Roman will be the major population of the earth let me find you the news where the president of Italy made an alarm for the Italian that you don't have babies our population is declining you idiots this is what happened when the country became liberals everybody is selfish nobody want to have babies the country will die stupidity uh, let us see here we go when the news appear look how embarrassing for Muhammad how embarrassing look at this this is just one day ago guys do you see it one day ago Italy Italy faces faces what a threat over low birth rate do you see it one day ago yet Muhammad the idiot saying that judgment they will not come and the Italian hey Tony Lamborghini 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 the bambino according to Muhammad the bambinos they will be number one population in the world he knows do you believe he knows this is what Muhammadino is saying that the bambinos Tony and Johnny and Italiano they will become number one the pizza will cover all the world the pizza everywhere you go in the world the Itali Italiano eating pizza can somebody put a shoe in the mouth of this man who keep talking saying stupid things this is the major this is a sign of the judge and the last hour would come when not only a sign of the judgment day, no, the judgment day will happen when the Roman, the Italiano, Bambino, Italian Pizzino, they are the majority of population. I mean, somebody put like a 10,000 cup of cappuccino in the mouth of Muhammadino so he can wake up and you know, because obviously he's speaking stupidity, you know. And you are asking me about Jesus knew the judgment day and look at your Nino. This is a prophet of God. The Roman brother, the Tony. Tony, brother, come over, Tony. Look what the prophet Muhammad say about bambinos, Tony. He says that all of we as the Italiano, they will become number one Yano in the whole world, Daniano, Tony. Tony, do you hear me, Tony? I think not excuse me. Tony is eating pizza. He's going to shoot somebody from the mafia and come back from Sicily. Number one population in the world will be the Italiano. Where we can watch this in Rai TV? And you are coming to us to say Jesus do not know the judgment day? What the heck, yeah, no, brother? <laughs> oh boy. <coughs> my Italian is very good. Oh, you, should see, you, should, you should see my French, man. You know, my French is so good. My French, my, uh, my uh, Spanish, you know. I know a lot of, uh, I mean, I speak very good Spanish, like Basura, Amigo. <clears throat> what is this? This is a prophet of God, and this is what his God told him? Are you serious? Are you serious, Yano? You know what the Muslims are? Like, when Jesus said, before you look at the you know little thing in the eye of your brother what about you see the big piece of wood in your in your eye this is the muslim uh, you want me to speak spanish let me tell you this story about spanish once i have a guy he's a mexican 
he come and he throw garbage in front he put it in the front uh, like in my in my trash can you know so I told him I don't speak English so I told him uh, listen you cannot throw your garbage here throw it in the front of your house the guy he's saying basura basura I said okay listen to me mr. basura I thought this is his name I said nice to meet you <laughs> you cannot throw garbage here he said basura basura I said okay I got your name your name is basura we got that so now can you please stop putting your garbage here throw it in the front of your house and then he keeps saying to me basura basura then a guy was walking by I said can you translate for us uh, please he said basura mean garbage I said, uh oh okay <laughs> I thought this is his name <laughs> This is how good my my Spanish is. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh, let me tell you this story just for a break. Forget about Mohammed Stupetti and the Italiano. Once I was in a restaurant. Uh, you know, it's an, like an open buffet. A guy, he was with his wife in the front of me and they like they got the dish food, really very delicious. So I he was pointing his finger about the dish and he said ponita so me I thought this is the name of the dish you know ponita okay that's easy second day I went to the to a restaurant but it's not open buffet the waiter waitress she came I said to her ponita uh, I want to eat ponita ponita you know so she laughed and she went and then she walked by and she looked at me and then I say again ponita you know <laughs> <laughs> and then like she laughed she goes talking to the girls I would say what's wrong with those people why you are talking and looking at me and then she came back and she have a paper have her phone number in it so what's wrong with this restaurant I asked for food they give me a phone number <laughs> I'm asking for food what's what and then the guy was walking by I said hey come on I asked for a dish like almost 20 minutes ago and I don't know what's happening. He said, what's happening? What a dish? I said, Ponita. I said, what, what Ponita? I said, I told, I told her uh, Ponita. He said, uh, Ponita, sir, I mean, mean pretty, beautiful. I said, uh, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> no wonder she gave me her phone number. <laughs> this is what happened to an Arab when he go to a Spanish land. He think Ponita is the name of the dish. Anyway, at least we got a phone number, right? Yeah, I was flirting with her without knowing, you know. But I was asking for the dish. I was saying Ponita, you know. And actually, I make in my in my hand like a dish, you know, like sign of a dish, Ponita, you know. And she look at me and she like, you know, I don't know what happened to her face. She like, okay, she run. And then again, I said to her Ponita, you know, she was walking by. She looked at me and she laughed. And then she went behind the counter. She spoke to her friends. I don't know what they said and then she come back to me with a piece of paper have a phone number and I'm waiting for my food <clears throat> all right <laughs> Ponita <laughs> I'm so glad that Muhammad did not hear this word otherwise he would make a hadith about it he will make a story and he will make it coming from his God Bonita, Bonita, yeah, Bonita. Anyway, Bonita, Bonita, she got the point. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> All right. <sighs> yeah, I'm still, no, the guy actually, he told me we don't have, uh, so I don't know what, what dish you want, so he brought me a menu, none of those food is the one I, I saw in the restaurant in the other one. And I do not know the name, so. All right. Do we have any Muslim here want to tell us how Muhammad, he made such a mistake and he claimed that he is from him, from God? Peace be upon him, was 62 years old when the time uh, this common knowledge why you do lie about this what common knowledge this is from God or common knowledge call me Wahid call me guys look what Wahid said 
Muhammad, peace be upon him, was 62 years old at that time. And this is common knowledge. It's common knowledge to say that judgment day, when happened, the Roman will be the majority of mankind. Is that right, Wahid? This is common knowledge at that time. <clears throat> the child, the prophet, he have several children from his marriage. He didn't have any children. All those are children of Khadija. Even even the Shia, they believe only Fatima is his daughter. The rest are the daughters of Khadija. You can go read the the books of the Shia. But Muhammad, he have no kids. And when he have a son, his name is Ibrahim, uh, Omar al-Khattab, he heard the news that people, they are saying that the, this is this is not from his wife, this is from Mary the Copt. And Mary the Copt is sleeping around with the slaves to the point Omar, he wanted to kill her cousin. But when he went to kill him, he found that he have no penis. But obviously she's sleeping around. Even Aisha, she said to her, to him, don't you see he don't look like you? <laughs> Why you are crying? Uh, uh, Wahid, your prophet said, I was the most weak person between all mankind in sex. Did he say that or I'm lying? Did he say that or no? He said that. Why he say that? Because everybody is making fun of him. This is why he exaggerate about his God, giving him a dish of fish kebab. He ate it. He got the power of 40. And I'm not sure how he measured the 40 thing. Maybe there was a race in the time of Muhammad. They do boom, boom, like in the front of the camera and see who can do it more. How Muhammad, he knew that he got the power of 40 men in boom, boom. Is that like a live thing in TV? They do it. They bring like 40 men and Muhammad, 40 men in one side and Muhammad in one side. And all of them, they are doing boom, boom. Why you do say BSM is wrong when you can say Libni Ibni? Islam Wahid, I don't, I don't like stupidity. Let me show you how stupid you are. Why I say BSM is wrong? No, BSM is right. BSM is wrong. This is BSM. And why you keep jumping from topic to topic like a monkey? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In Arabic, there is nothing. It's called Bism. Do you want me to prove it to you? Here we go. From the Quran, the correct is Bism. There is nothing. It's called Bism. Do you see it? You see how many verses? فسبح بإسم ربك العظيم. Do you see it? That is the correct Arabic word, bism, not bism. The Muslim, they took the alif from al-Fatiha to make it easy for recitation. And this is how they corrupted the Arabic. Imagine they take letter even from their Quran, which means they are corrupting the Quran just for the sake of making recitation easy because it doesn't sound good when you say, so they have they say bism. See how they corrupt? For the sake of singing, they take letters from the Quran. There is no rule. You are a stupid idiot. This is not a rule. Even your scholar, they say that was taken off for recitation. Go search in Google, you will find the answer from Muslim scholars. That the word be ism changed to bism just for easy recitation that's all by the way uh, uh, islam wahid is the is the woman who called me using voice changer and she got her prophet busted okay show me the rule show me the rule show me the rule where it says that bism became bism i want to see the rule <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I 
and I can get you busted if you call me and I will make you read life on air your scholar saying that this is was a change for the sake of recitation with no mercy here we do nothing but spanking yes my Skype is open call me <clears throat> I will call you. Here we go. <coughs> Hello? Hello. Hello. Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. So, when you say to my... How do you say to my son in Arabic? Uh, well, first of all, I want to ask you, are you asking uh, using your voice changer? Why? Like, does that matter? Just uh, because people they are saying you are a man, I did not, I did not really get attention. Are you a man or a girl? Why do you care what is between my thighs? Why you are you using, using voice changer? Is it true when they say that you're a Christian predator? Christian predator? What does that mean? You told that um, Muslim sister um, that you want to uh, have sex with her. Well, the one who told you that is a filthy idiot. Do you have a proof? Well, you, you were asking her for her panties and for her boobs. That's a lie. That's a big fat lie. I was reading for her a hadith where your prophet said, Suckle me. And she is your sister. She is a whore. Like you. Because if you are not a whore, you will not lie saying such a statement. Your sister, she was saying that Jesus, he played with his mother boobs. So do you think a Muslim woman, she is not a whore, will say that? I think she was wrong by saying that. But no, 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 no. I'm right. asking you, I'm not asking you if you're wrong. Why you are lying? She is the one who said that Jesus, he played with his mother boobs. Does that make her a whore or a good woman? If a Muslim woman, if a Muslim woman, she said that about Jesus, and you Muslim, you claim that Jesus is a prophet of Islam. So, if a Muslim woman, she said that Muhammad, he played with his mother boobs and he was a guy. Is that woman, she is a Muslim or she is a bad woman and she is a whore? She's not a whore, but she's just ignorant. So, what, what do you mean ignorant? So, if, if, uh, if anyone say such a thing is ignorance. A second ago, you said to me, I am a predator because I said that. So, how come I am predator for saying that? But if she said that, she is not a predator. She didn't ask um, for sexual pleasure. I did not ask her. You are a liar. I was reading for her. I said to her, well, in fact, your prophet is the one who ordered women to do breastfeeding for adult. Suckle me. So now let me ask you, as long as you are saying that the one who says suckle me is a sexual predator, that means your prophet is a sexual predator. You are exposing your prophet. Thank you very much. Do you agree that your prophet is sexual predator? Because I was reading your prophet hadith. Uh, which hadith is that? Sakal me hadith. This is why I said to her, Sakal me. Oh, when it says suckle in the hadith, it means to transfer milk into like, a container. Really? And drunk the word suckle, the word suckle is suck, to suck, not to drink. He said, Ardu'i not dr give him milk to drink yeah so to uh to uh, put the milk into a cup that's a lie can then... you show me the reference where it says such a thing your prophet he never that he said suckling suckling is to suck from the nipples not to drink from a cup and you are lying again using your voice changer fifi here we go. You're a prophet. He ordered a woman. She's an. She's an. He's an. If this is a problem, if this is not what your prophet saying, as you are saying, it's like a drunk to drink from a milk from a cup. Look what the woman she said. She said, "How I can suckle him and he is a grown man. Suckle him. How I can suckle him and he is a grown man." So the woman she is clearly understand that suckling is something can be done for a child. Drinking milk, anyone can drink. She did not say, "Okay, I will give him a, a cup of milk." No, she said, how I can suckle him and he is a growing man. Okay, I'm um, just like, like not to jump topics. How do you say to my son in Arabic? Don't change the topic. That was my original. No, you are, you, no we are going to show everybody who is a sexual predator. 
You are a liar like your prophet. You insulted me. And now you are in the corner because the one who say to a woman, suckle me, he is a sexual predator. You are the one who said that. So what kind of a prophet saying to a woman that a man he can say suckle me to you and he is a growing man to the point even Aisha she used to order her nieces and her sister to suckle anyone who want to enter upon her. Okay, so when a prophet says it, it's, it's okay, but are you a prophet? Ah, so a prophet, he is not a sexual predator if he say to you, suckle me? No. And you are going to give him your boobs to the prophet? It does not say to the prophet. To who then? To the, the man. Okay, I'm a man. Here we go. You are going to say he is a sexual predator. He's asking me to suckle my boobs. Hello, Akbar. You see how filthy you are? You just admitted that your prophet is a crazy man ordering Muslim women to give their boobs to any man walking by. You admitted that. You just said that. So if a Muslim man, if Mimi Hijab, he walk by and he said to you, suckle me, you will give him your nipples. Do you? No. You just said you would do. You said the prophet says so, so I will do. I ask you, if the prophet says that to you, you will do. You said yes. If the prophet said it? Yeah, the prophet said it. Who said it? that? The prophet, he said that. I just showed you the hadith. And Aisha, as you see, this is the hadith Sahih al-Bukhari. And the, uh, uh, there's many, many hadith. This is Mu'atta Malik here in front of us saying that Aisha, she ordered her nieces and her sisters to suckle any man when it enter upon her. And he had to suckle them 10 times. And you said, yes, you will do it. So why, if you suckle a strange man, that will not make you a sexual predator and him sexual predator. But if I ask you about your prophet teaching that, that will make me sexual predator because you Muslims are hypocrites. You are trying to frame me to make me look bad. But the fact, the filthy sexual predator, and you help me to prove it is your prophet. Because you just said, the one who said to a woman, suckle me, he is a sexual predator. And it's your prophet who order all men to say any to any Muslim woman, suckle me. And you said you have no problem with it. Did you ever suckle anyone before or any man he asked you to suckle me to practice Islam or no? No. Why not? Isn't this the teaching of your prophet? Are you ashamed of it? I think it was just like like normal thing back then. Uh, like, uh, guys, like at, slavery but, was normal yeah, back Yeah, at, th at that time, um, it's normal for a woman to go in the bus, take her boobs, and anyone starts sucking. It's normal at that time. You must have you practice that normally, right? But this is not true because the woman, she said to your prophet, obviously your prophet is the one who started this madness. She said to him, how am I going to suck on him and he's an, a growing man? Which means nobody did that before. The woman, she said to your prophet, how am I going to suck on him and he is a growing man? Can you read? Do you know how to read? Read it. It says, she's, the prophet said the breastfeed him. Look how Muslim they lie. They say, put milk in a cup. Does it say breastfeed him? And this is your Muslim translation. And the woman, she said, how I'm going to suckle him? And he is a growing man. Okay, I'm, I'll ask about this. Honey. No, you will not ask. You will, uh, ask. you will answer now because you insulted me. You have to apologize. The one who is sexual predator is you and whoever follow this religion. Because when somebody caught for you from your religion, what it teach, you don't accuse him by asking you about it to be sexual predator. Shame on you to lie. So you follow a liar like Mimi Hijab, who is a coward, you don't dare to debate me, making lies, editing my videos, and I am reading for her exactly what she said here, and she is the filthy woman who said that Jesus, he did this to his mother. So in return, I said to her, well, hold on, it's your prophet who order women to suckle men, suckle me. This is what I said. So why you Muslim lie and you fabricate stories? Suddenly you became, I asked her to take off her panty. Where do you get this from? You edit my videos. I say Muslims, they go to heaven, they take off their panties. You take off my video, you cut it off, you make it pieces. Shame on you. You have no dignity. In my videos, I use the word penis. I use the word vagina because I'm reading Islam. Islam is filthy cult. So you cut my videos and you put it together to make it look sound something different. Shame on you. Muslim, you have no dignity.
You see, two days ago you spoke to me, I, I treat you with respect, correct? Yes. Okay, today you brought insult yourself because you are a liar. I just watched a video um, that uh, okay okay do you agree yeah. do, do you agree that your brother who made this video is obviously a scam and he is a liar he should not do that because he edited the video well, if, he did not show if, the whole truth if the prophet did say this and you're just quoting um like hadith and I don't like I don't think that you're wrong okay but no no the story is why he edited the video and take it out of context from what happened. Why he did not show what your sister a second ago she said. Why he took it off. Don't you agree that your brother is a fraud? He is editing the video just to make a point against Christian Prince in order to frame him with no truth in that framing? Okay, I will ask him about it. No, I don't ask him about it. I'm asking you now because I can play right now the video of your sister who said what she said and everybody will laugh. She is the one who is faithy, not me. I was speaking to her nicely. I did not I say anything. Know. I don't know why he left it out, but I can ask him why. No, we know why. We, 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 no, we know why and you know why. Be honest. He is just a coward. He's trying to avoid debating me. And because he knew he cannot debate me, so he he got those videos to play to get you know. He, so he will not debate me. As simple as that. As simple as that. You know, and I know. Everybody knows. And now, if I take your video and I cut your words out of a sentence and I make a false story about it, is that make me a decent man? Be honest. I don't know why it was cut like that, but... No, you uh, know. I stop saying. You, stop saying you do not know. You know. I don't believe that you do not know. And especially now I explain to you why he cut it off. It's obvious. He is trying to make me look bad. In the same time, he's avoiding debating me. He's a coward. Now I can play for you. Here we go. Just because you mentioned this, this is what your sister, she said to me. I never, I never said something wrong to her. All of the fabrication the Muslim they come with is a lie. The videos are there. You can go and watch them and people will die laughing at Muhammad Hijab, the coward, the liar, who is a great example of his prophet. Again, man, why he kiss a stone? Why he kiss a stone? Why? Oh, the Holy Spirit, the God in the heavens. I know, I know all this. Okay, I live in Arabia. I live in Africa. You know, you know where? You know, you know, you know what? You know what? Why you kiss, Why your prophet kiss the black stone? He's a pagan. You are a pagan. Did you kiss a stone or not? Did you? Do you? Do you kiss a stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Jesus. Jesus? No, don't, Jesus don't create the stones. He created the whole world. But you must kiss. You must have kiss his stones, right? Why why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus Jesus do more actually. Worse actually. Ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? Boops? You must be okay. You see, you see guys, you see guys, you see guys, you see how you see how savage they are? Look what she said. Oh, no. Look what she said. Not, Look what she not said. Like you. Okay, really? show me. That's show me. Okay, show me a verse. Hmm? Show me a verse. Really? Show me a verse saying that Jesus. He oh, you cannot hear. You cannot hear, huh? You you are not, you are not in YouTube. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Here we go. Let me let me make it available for you too. Give me a second. Here we go. This is your sister talking. Black stone. Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus, Jesus, do more actually. Worse actually. Ah, he play with his so, mother. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother. What? You, to, you must be okay. You see, you see, guys. You see, guys. You see, guys. You see how you see how selfish they are. Look what she said. Oh no! Look what she said. Look what she not, said. Like okay, okay, show me. Show me. Okay, show me a verse. Show me a verse. Really? Show me a verse saying that Jesus he played what? with his mother. Show me his a verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus, he blame. Listen, listen, you are obviously a trashy person. You just insulted Jesus for no reason. You say Jesus, he play with his mother boobs, right? Okay, you're, you, listen, you're a liar, number one. Number two, 
It's your prophet who ordered women to give their boobs to strangers. Is that true or not? No, it's not. Can I suckle you? Okay, let's read the hadith. Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Yeah, yeah I okay. heard it. Okay, so why do you agree that Muhammad Hijab is a fraud and is a scam and he is lying to Muslims? I, I think just for this specific case, I don't agree with what they did. No, it's not about agree. Either you are honest or don't call me again because you called me, you insulted me, you called me big names for no reason, which is not a true. The women she was insulting Jesus and you Muslim, you claim that Jesus is a Muslim prophet, which means all of you should defend Jesus. So I was defending Jesus and you Muslim, you take a side of the women who insult the Messiah. How dare you to do so? Just to make I a lie. I apologize on behalf of like Muhammad Hijab. You apologize on um, behalf of Muhammad Hijab. I'm not asking you to apologize. I'm asking your opinion. Do you don't you think that Muhammad Hijab is a fraud? Be honest, because this is a fraud. He edited the video. He took the words out of context. And he caught only what I was reading. I said, in fact, your prophet who said to the women to suckle him, to suckle a man, suckle me. So you Muslims, either you admit that Muhammad Hijab do not, do not present Islam and he is a fraud. Or you say, no, he presents it's just Islam. just for this specific case. Hmm? It's just for this video because... Um, he was just caught up in the uh, argumentation and he may have just um, did this just to get back at you, but um, this does not represent Islam. Okay, so you are saying he's not a Muslim. He's a bad Muslim. You are saying Muhammad Hijab is a bad Muslim? Like he, 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 did, he, did, he did something wrong. So okay, what, what's wrong then? I want to, I you know, why you, are, why you cannot be honest, say that this is a bad, bad Muslim. This is because here he is fabricating a well, story. Everyone does, does bad things, but we can't say no, that. No, 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 no. You Muslim, you support him, and here we go. He made you believe it. You are a victim of him. He misleaded you. He's the devil. Who is the one who made you believe in a lie? God or Satan? Answer me. Who is the one who made people believe in a lie? God or Satan? I want an honest answer from you. Uh, Satan. Okay, and Muhammad Hijab made you believe in a lie, and you call me believing in that lie. So Muhammad Hijab must be Satan. Don't you agree? Wait, Muhammad Hijab is Satan? Well, if he is the one, you just said that God, he will not make a lie and make us believe in a lie. Muhammad Hijab, and you said, I said to you, who is the one who do that? Make, say, make, make lie and make you believe in it. Satan or God? You said Satan. Okay, Muhammad Hijab, he made a lie and made you believe in it, isn't it him Satan or his representative? But 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 then uh, you said that um Bissam is not a word. What? But it is. Well, uh, I said what? Bissam is don't not send, a word. Don't change the topic. Is. Don't change the topic. You see how hypocrite the Muslims are? She is in the corner, she will not agree, she will not admit no, no. because it is why you why you are changing the topic now. Why you don't no, no, say you said, that Muhammad Hijab, the don't change the topic, it. don't change the topic. Muhammad Hijab, he made you believe in a lie and you said lies is from Shaitan. So do Muhammad present Allah who will present Shaitan, be honest. Yes, yeah, so, so you, you said the one who lies is Satan, but you said that Bism is not a word, but it is. So, what what, what Bism have to do with our topic? What's wrong with you? I'm because asking you, this is not what we are talking about. Don't change the topic. You are trying to escape from exposing your brother in a satanic worship. He fabricated the tape, lying about me. And you agreed and you apologized that obviously this is not a good behavior. Thank you very much. I did not ask you to apologize because he is the one who did that, not you. You insulted me because you believed in his life for, for, for some time. Now it's clear that he is a liar. Why you are not willing to say that he is a liar and he did the shameful act? No, I said that he that this is a shameful act, but I'm not I'm 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 not supporting uh, cutting up videos and not giving the full context. Okay. Um, but so I you yeah. know I want to say I want to say okay at least you are being honest and this is a shameful act. And I hope Muhammad Hijab will listen how Muslim they look at what he did.
He is a fraud. He is a scam. A, 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 I'm not saying a, everything he does is a fraud or a scam. I'm no, you say you say it, a, 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 if you lie, if you lie, you lie. You are a liar. That's it. Nobody can trust you. Nobody can believe you. This is a lie fabricated in purpose, not a mistake. Cut in my videos, putting it together to make it look different from what it is, and then making Muslim believe that I said to a Muslim woman, uh, he, okay, he may I wanna... have not heard it. No, he may have not heard it. No, he heard um, it. So, so I, you I, are I saying to hold on. So he did play the video. He did not heard it before. This guy preparing for this for two months. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, 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 him, anyway. Thank, he... thank, thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. We got you busted. You and your prophet. And you Muslims have no dignity. Editing my my uh, audio to make a lie, and you know, and then they said Christian Prince. He said Muslim women have AIDS. It was the Muslim who was saying that. They said Christian Prince. You know, you must be single until now because the Christian women they don't they have AIDS. It was the Muslim saying that, and I was responding. I mean, look how they flip the truth upside down. Do you see the hypocrisy? If they say it, it's okay. If I will respond to them, it's not. <laughs> and I said, well, in fact, Muslim women is the one who have that. Because you do muta, you do the was a friend, temporarily marriage, travel marriage, you have multiple partners, the Muslim man have a, a four wives, he go to Thailand, he come back home. This is what I said. I'm not speaking about all Muslim. I'm, I was responding to that per person who said to me, Christian women have AIDS. Saying that this is the reason I am single, because I'm afraid to marry Christian women, they have AIDS. So when we respond to them, they cut. And they play. I'm responding for people in the chat, in the text, in the voice. I mean, you know, like I, all of you, you know, I have my chat running. I respond to people in the chat. I respond to people in Skype by voice and by text. So they cut off my voice to make me look like the devil. Shameful people. This woman, she spoke to me just two days ago. I have two hours conversation. Did I insult you? Did I say anything bad to you? This woman, she obviously she is a bad woman, very bad woman. You know, imagine what kind of a girl she go and she is a Muslim, and then she claimed that Isa, and not only that, she said Isa he played with his mother boobs and he was a guy. He was what? A guy. I was asking her about kissing the black stone. Not about kissing breast. Do you see how we can get them busted? <clears throat> can I talk to you for three minutes, Abdullah? Yeah, sure, Abdullah, call me. Call me, Mr. Abdullah. Go ahead. <clears throat> Text me first so I can see your which one is your, uh, you know, to be sure that is you and I will call you back. Abdullah. It's a shame. It's a shame, you know. We don't cut a video of people and add, edited the voice, edited the, 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 the sentence and fabricate and lie. And in, in, in the top of that, it's a shame that Muslims, they supported the women, she insulted Jesus. I'm not talking about this one who called me now. Yeah, maybe it's a man making a voice of a woman, obviously. But it's okay. Actually, if Muhammad Hijab have a little dignity, he should be the one going against the, against that woman. All the Muslims should be against this woman. Instead, they use her to fight me. You believe it? But the Lord always, he will show the truth. 
the Lord always will show the truth. And here we go. Their shame became double. They wanted to shame me, but they shamed themselves. You know what I mean? They wanted to shame me by framing me, but they did nothing but they shamed themselves. The Lord is amazing, my friend. And because he was too much intimidated, he don't dare to debate me. He got those little tiny cut in the videos, so he will not let me talk and debate will not happen. And in front of the Muslim, he will say, hey, I'm a hero. Hey, your boy is finished. <laughs> what a what a poo, poo You are the one who's finished. Everybody see how terrified you are. I'm calling from my room alone. Seven Abdul in the room of Muhammad Hijab. And yet none of them dare to debate me. They muted me more than seven times, hang up on me eight times, I spoke for two minutes. This is how terrified they are from my name. As simple as that. And now look at this. Muhammad Hijab, he got his prophet busted because whoever said to a woman, suckle me, is a sexual predator. That means Muhammad is the biggest sexual predator. For I was reading the Prophet of Islam teaching and I got him busted life. Even though he was muting me, he said to him, you stupid idiot, I was reading your faithy Prophet Hadith. Mute him, mute him, shut him up this bastard. This is what he said to me. But you brought that upon yourself. I was reading your Prophet Hadith, you liar. And as long the one who practiced such a thing is a sexual predator, that means all of you who believe in Muhammad is sexual predator, because this is the teaching of Muhammad. Are you blind? And because they are in fear from me, so they have to do a dirty tricks, they cannot debate me, they cannot face me, and they are terrified. So let us make little editing for audio and make a Christian prince. And you know what? You made me bad. Look how many people listen to me. I open my I open my YouTube after an hour or half hour. I have 1,000 people listening. I have millions of people watching my videos in Indonesia, in India, in Pakistan, around the world. Because no Muslim can refute me. And when you did what you did, you show everybody how terrified are you. That is the truth. Private, who teach women to give their boobs. And they say to you, Christian Prince, he said the word poops. <laughs> is it a Christian for you? Is it a Christian teaching to say the word such a thing? Oh, I'm reading your Quran. Even your Quran promised Muslims women with big boobs. So look what is my crime. I quote their Quran that make me filthy. You believe it? I quote their prophet that made me filthy. Thank you very much. You just prove that your prophet and your God is filthy. For quoting your God make me filthy, and I need to take a shower, I agree. That approving my point. This is God in the Quran, chapter 78, promising me women with big boobs. Do you see it? Do you see it? Hold on. I want you to take this to Mimi Hijab so he can use it in a video. Tell him a Christian prince, he made a drawing to make explanation for the Quran, brother. Women with big boobs, brother. Please copy my video and tell everybody that the Christian prince, he used the word boobs. 
This is your Quran. So if we quote your Quran and we show how stupid your God, that will make us bad. Shame on you, potato. Ibrahim Fitter. There's a person in the book of the birth, and he always speak about both. In fact, the Quran he said he said in chapter seventy-eight, verse number twenty-two, that Allah will give women big boobs, and there is a reason for that. Hey brother, if you remember when the flood of Noah happened, if you have a woman and she have a big boobs, those boobs they can work like a balloon, and they will make you flood in the water. So it is my fault to use the word boobs, but if Allah say the word boobs and big boobs, it's okay. May Allah boob you. You cut my video, you edit them, and that's supposed to will make me look bad. People are laughing at you. Hey, everybody knows what I say, what I teach. And I am the one who made your prophet look like a joke by telling the truth. You see, many people, they will not notice how stupid this verse is until I draw this picture, maybe. I mean, this is how stupid this God is. What kind of God he promised this? Look at this. Look at this. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I am Allah promising you women would be huge boobs. Sorry, this one is damaged because it had an accident two days ago. Even the Naples education changed. And that will make me bad? Okay, man. Say whatever you want. People are laughing. Where is the Muslim who wanna call me? Just tell me I'm a Muslim, please. I have many people texting me and none of them is a Muslim. <clears throat> or maybe this guy. No, this guy is not a Muslim. Oh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> sorry for the, by the way, I'm an I'm, I'm artist and since I was a kid, I, as you notice, my drawing is so fantastic I mean, so good, unbelievable. I mean, I was like number one in school, brother, you can tell. My drawing is really, really good. But by the way, I was the only student in the school. Let us see, somebody want to call me, his name is Abdullah. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. You're live on air. Yeah, I'm Shivan. How, how are you, CP? How's it going? I'm fine. Are you a Muslim? Uh, look, I'm ex-Muslim, but just just can I can I talk to you for three minutes, please? Sure. Okay? Go, ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Look, about Sahla bin Suhail, when Muhammad asked her to give her nipple hmm. to Hudayfa, Mm. Uh, Mawla, Salim Mawla Hudayfa, mm. if you go search Arabic literature, at that time, Suhla, Sahla, she didn't have young kids. Mm. Her youngest kid was 14 years old. Mm. That means Sahla, she didn't have even milk. That's a very important point. True. Muhammad was healthy. If you go read al Zahabi, Sira Alam al Nubala, or even Athir, or whatever, all the Arabic literature, Islamic literature, the oldest child of Sahla at that time when Muhammad asked her to give her nipple to Salim Mawla Abu Hudayfa was 14 years old that means Sahla she didn't have milk exactly and uh, same as uh, you know that's very important point exactly I just I want to answer that girl who was talking to you before said you have to squeeze into a cup and then drink no that's not true even it's not necessarily for ladies to have milk for example Aisha has done that by herself as mm. even Rajab say in um, Sharak Sahih Bukhari even Aisha, she didn't have kids, she didn't have milk, right. but she has done once by herself. Right. So this is not necessarily. Right. And if you look at Sahla, she didn't have children at that time. Her youngest son 
was 14 years old. Yeah, and women. Just I want to stress now about this even, important point. Even goats, even goats, if they don't have babies, they have no milk. I mean, it's very well known that uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, human being animals, they have milk when they have babies. Correct. True. Yeah. True. So, but, uh, but, uh, but but here Muhammad was filthy because these lady she didn't have young child to have milk. So it's not important to have milk or not. No, just to suckle her. To suck. Thing. What is important just to is suckle yes, breast. To, just to suckle her breast. Not there's no milk. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's that's the most important point. <laughs> and people have to stress out, uh, out about this important point. So it is Islam is Muhammad God a revelation from Satan. It's satanic worship. They have to know that there is no respectful man ask ladies take out your boobs from bra and put in in, in the mouth of someone else. Regardless if you have milk or not, both ways is bad. But in this case, Sahla say a youngest child was born in Habasha. Okay, when the first time, <coughs> as a fifth year of uh, Muhammad's prophecy, they went to Habasha during that time, she had one child born. So by the time when Muhammad asked Sahla to put her boobs in, in the mouth of Salam, it was around uh, year six in Medina. So Sahla's youngest child was 14 years old. She didn't have milk at all. And not that's, only that, not only that, this is goes for all Muslim women now. It's not about just Sahla. As you see, even Aisha, she practiced no, that. And her, and she ordered her nieces and her, her sisters to do that. I mean, how in the world? Everyone. And what is the point? They were practicing. N not they only that. They were practicing till a few years ago in Saudi and all Kutub al-Fuqah, Fuqh al-Islami. Yes. It's, it's there. It's mentioned. Uh, but Abdul they have to do it. Abdullah, there is a yeah, fatwa. There is a fatwa. You can search it. All Muslim scholars agree that breastfeeding for adult will not make the person unlawful for you, which means still he can have sex with you. So what the what the point? Yeah, no, exactly, exactly. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, it is a look. Muhammad is a, a satanic. He was you know psychopath. So everyone should know that basically. That's uh, we we should give this message to people that he was satanic basically. So according to Quran, Satan can send a revelation, and also God can send revelation. According to Quran, we have three verses in Quran that Satan is able to send revelation, and Muhammad got revelation from Satan. He's satanic. He's psychopath. So that's the most important point. Just I want to point out. Hey, that it's not important for ladies to have milk or not. You can't be a girl not married still. According to Muhammad, you are allowed to put your nipple in the mouth of a man to become forbidden from that man. Yeah. This is this is yeah. this is Islamic teaching. Exactly. Well, thank you very much, my friend, yes. for calling. And feel free to call us from time to time. No problem at all. Okay, take care. Thanks take a care. lot. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Now, the the one who called us, the one who do not know, this is uh, uh, I don't I don't know him actually. Uh, his name is Abdullah, as I see in Skype, and he is an ex-Muslim. And actually, I have to agree with him and everything. Not, 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 none of the information he said is wrong. Uh, the woman, she is not a young woman, actually. And she doesn't have a baby uh, to give milk. So she will suckle what exactly? What exactly she is going to do? And what is the point of this? Even though Muslims they agree that if a woman, she suckle a man, Still, he can have sex with her. He can marry her too. So what this is for? The mental illness of Muhammad, he, he is playing with those people around him, making fun of them. He's a crazy man. And those people, whatever Muhammad he say, they agree. Even though it is a scam and a fraud. How in the world this person can be a prophet of God? Who can believe in that? And the funny, the Muslims, they play victims when we quote what their prophet said, making us look bad for quoting their prophet teaching. This is how disgusting Islam is. All right, I think we have enough for today. 
don't forget please to download the videos it's already past the middle of the night here I would like to say thank you all thank you to Abdullah to the one who called us very nice gentleman and actually even the Muslim girl who, or a guy who is changing his voice I feel sorry for you I mean look you see how they victimize by those people the scammers who lie to them you are a victim my friend you are a victim or everybody witness you know witness I speak to Muslims in the best manner I, I can and when I lose patience with them for the align they will not let me talk I hang up this is the best I do and if I use words I use Islamic words muta boobs as you see in Quran you know everything I use is from Islam the Quran says the similarity of those who carry the Torah is the same as a donkey so if I call a Muslim donkey, donkey he could upset or you call me donkey the Quran call us donkeys so how come you can call us donkeys we cannot call you donkeys if you believe that this is not right then you should rip off your Quran the Quran call us monkeys call us liars call us kuffar call us najis what about I call you najis if I call Muslim najis they will say Allahu Akbar discrimination he discriminate us he call us dirty you call us dirty in the Quran every day I don't call you najis I believe Muhammad is najis not you you are just a victim <clears throat> and look at me now I wish I was exist in the time of the Prophet I am going to visit all the women in town knock from door to door practicing Islam especially the houses have a beautiful ladies hello uh, the Prophet says suckle me let me introduce myself. I'm a stranger. My name is Dr. Zakanaik. And I'm here to do Zakami. And please, you have to practice that sunnah. And please, give me your nipples. And then the Muslim women, because the Prophet said so, she will say, no problem. I will give you my nipples. Which one you like to start with first? The one in the right or the one in the left? I mean, look at this open-minded hippie religion. What kind of religion this religion is? So you cannot shake hands with our wives, but you can shake their boobs. May Allah boob you. And then they will say, look what Christian Prince he's saying. Look at his language, man. Disgusting. I am the one is disgusting. I'm quoting your stupid prophet. The disgusting is the one who taught you this. You are the one who practiced it, and I am the one who caught it. Is disgusting. What a crazy religion. Booby cult. Booby booby. Booby booby boo. Booby booby boo. You know, there's a song made about Muhammad Booby. Booby doo. Booby, Scooby Doo, da -da -da Booby, Booby Doo, Notice him, da -da -dum, suckle him, Lulu. What the heck? I'm really, truly, truly convinced that the Prophet Muhammad is a prophet. It's a miracle, brother. And two, uh, 1400 years ago, the Prophet was the first hippie. The first hippie in history, brother. Suckle him. That's it. it as easy as that. I mean, there is no introduction. There is no hello, how are there is, Just go to the business. Suckle him. Don't even ask him for his name. Just give him your nipples. Hmm? It's not. It's, it's it's not the state of banana banana state. It is the nipple state of Allah. You do not even need to say bonita. Just suckle me. Like, hello? I mean, what's wrong with that? Why you people are close-minded? What's wrong with you? We are in the year 2020. We should appreciate this. Man, I wish we can go back on time. We are single people. And we practice the beautiful teaching of the Prophet. I will do a YouTube channel called Suckle Me. All day long, going from house to house. Recording live YouTube of suckling business 
Actually, I wanted to open a business in Las Vegas, a drive-through boob suckling. But I don't have enough money for that business. Imagine how much customers will come. We make like little holes, windows, and those uh, believers, they put their boobs, and people drive through, and, you know, you pay, and then you suckle. As simple as that. Drive it through secondary. Nobody thought about this business before before me. I have a copyright over it. What is this? Unbelievable. You need a goodly land, correct? Exactly. Good one. <laughs> uh, you get to go, Jenny? Jenny, don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Where do you want to go? Do you th this is we are Arab. You cannot leave our chat. We are Arab. You it's it's one place. You enter. You cannot leave. This is Islam, brother. One way, one way ticket, one way ticket to the hell. That's it. You say shahada. You cannot leave, brother. Where do you want to leave? Close the door. Nobody can leave. What? You leave? You think you can enter Arab chat and you leave as you wish? Are you dreaming? Let me call my cousins in the Middle East, al Baghdadi, the very merciful person of Allah, and Uzama bin, ba bin Dajin, and a Zarqawi. They are the best experience of mercy and dignity. Oh boy. All right, guys, I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. I'm not going to keep the videos as you know I'm going to clean them soon so please download whatever you want and uh, especially this part where this lady she did expose her brother Muhammad hijab for being a liar don't forget to download that part and share it around uh, Muhammad Hussein I am scared of you my friend I'm scared of everybody I'm afraid to call you and then you open the camera and you then you force your wife to suckle me. You see my fear? I mean, look, even Aisha, I'm afraid to call Aisha. It was narrated, Yahya related to me from Malik, from Abdul Rahman, from Al Ibn Al Qasim, etc., from his father, that Aisha, huh? Allah bless her and grant her peace, she ordered her sisters that no one can enter upon her unless she, they nurse him. And I am afraid, Muhammad Qasim, that you will not let me speak to you and your wife unless you force your wife to nurse me. And because of coronavirus, I'm really concerned. Otherwise, trust me, I don't mind. I'm hungry. Why I blocked you? Obviously, you are an idiot. People who repeat text, we block them. People who say bad words, we block them. And people who they are crazy, we block them. And look at you. Okay, what do you want to do? Answer my call? Nobody is calling me. Anybody hear anything in the Skype? My Skype is silence. Nobody is calling. Nobody is calling. And you know, my friend, I mean, there's no need to prove your point. I'm scared always from Muslim. That's why I open my Skype open and anyone can call me. And all of you are scaring me. I'm scared. You know, actually, to be honest with you, I will tell you a true story. And the other day, I was asleep. This is a true story. Like I want, I want to go, but I, I, I will tell you this story before I go because it's very, uh, very touching story. I was asleep, brother, and then in a dream, 
I saw in front of me a beautiful creature. Very beautiful creature. I cannot even describe for you how beautiful this creature was. But I'm trying just to give you an idea. And when I saw this creature, I decided to have a conversation with him. His name is Mr. Donkey. So the first question I asked the donkey, Donkey, do you like females? It might be strange that I am asking such a question, I understand. But always, I always think about animals. I'm very sensitive. Do donkeys like females like us? I was really concerned about the donkeys. I mean, maybe they don't like females. Maybe they are not like, I mean, they are not straight. Maybe they are like, you know, they like gay marriage or something. And then the surprise, brother. The donkey, he answered and he said, no, no. I don't like females. And then I remember the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. When he said that he spoke to his donkey, Yafur, and he asked him, do you like females? I mean, even your Prophet, when he talked to donkeys, he's talking about sex. It's a donkey. You are asking a donkey if he like females. Ask him if he likes zucchini. Ask him if he likes a cucumber for lunch. Ask him if he likes salad. Females. The prophet asking a donkey if he likes females. I mean, what do you think he like? I mean, seriously, what do you think he like? I mean, he do have different option. This is your prophet. And look at this donkey, man. He was laughing like crazy after I asked him the question. All what I said to him, do you like females? Look what happened to him. <laughs> I mean, his teeth became big and his mouth is going crazy. Jesus called me a dog. Ah, Muhammad Hussein, we laugh at those things. My friend, you are a liar and you are a false person because Jesus the, the story you are quoting from the Bible, not only he did to the women what she asked for, but he blessed her. You are a liar. Jesus was quoting what the Jews, they say, and the example, they say, why we throw our bread for the dogs. She said, look how humble she is. Even he said that, she said, but Lord, my God, even dogs, they eat from their masters. And then what the Lord, he said to her, is getting you busted. You are a thief and you are a liar. This woman, she is calling Jesus God. And Jesus saying to her, you are Aramaic. You are not from the Jews. So why you are you coming to me? Hmm? Why you don't call to your God and pray to your God? You are a liar. And Jesus said, and he ordered all his disciples to go and teach and preach the whole world. And even your book says that Jesus, when he ordered his disciples to go and teach and preach, his disciples, they said to him, but we don't speak all languages. He said, don't worry, go sleep. And when they woke up in the morning, they found themselves speaking many languages. And this is in your book, you idiot. Which means Jesus, he blessed all nations. I'm not making my own interpretation. I am a Christian. You are a Muslim. You don't make interpretation for Christianity, you idiot. When I show you something from Islam, I show you interpretation from your scholars. No, you are making your own interpretation. No, you are making your own interpretation. Yeah, and then he said, I have sheep other, uh, out of here too. <laughs> I came to my sheep and my sheep rejected me. 
and he said and he confirmed I have sheep other than this place too and then he ordered all his disciples to go and teach all the world anyway Muhammad you are just a joke like your prophet uh, we will try is, is this timing is good guys for you I'm coming late in purpose actually so I can reach out to people in India Indonesia because I'm really receiving great feedback from those countries you know yesterday we have a person who left Islam from Indonesia and today I receive uh, uh, more names who left Islam today about about eight people and they are from Indonesia too uh, so the total in less than 24 hours we have uh, nine people let me sure about the number no actually uh, eight people eight people we have eight people left Islam just in the last 24 hours those they, they contacted me and they you know uh, 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 they express how grateful they are to learn the truth so God knows how many they are leaving Islam without contacting us so I'm really happy for people in Indonesia I'm happy that they are uh, coming out of this cult and seeing how beautiful Islam is all right <clears throat> yeah that's why I'm coming late actually but I will try to come earlier too for so we can serve people in Europe don't forget please to download my videos share them with your friends and this is the best way we can spread the truth and you can add subtitle to your uh, let me take off this picture of this guy I mean this guy is making me dizzy what is what's what just close your mouth man I mean, what's wrong with you me by the way uh, donkeys are very smart animals uh, uh, many people they take them wrong they have they have uh, let, let me, uh, I want to go but you guys you are forcing me to stay okay hold on hold on I mean, what I can do now I mean when Christian Prince he said I'm going that's mean it's going to be like two hours later you, you know what I'm talking about brother you know, you know exactly right okay uh, <clears throat> Muhammad he spoke that donkeys they have more features than him you believe it donkeys and roosters the prophet he said read with me carefully and just to prove to you that donkey is more qualified to be a prophet from the prophet I'm not kidding this is Sahih Hadith let me show it to you on the screen Abu Huraira the father of the cats that's what Huraira mean spoil name of cats Abu Huraira reported that Allah messenger says saying when you listen to the crowing of the cuckoo ask Allah for his favor as it sees angels look at this chickens they have a special sensation for angels brother and when you listen to the brain of the donkey seek refuge in Allah from shaitan for it sees shaitan so look what we learn from this donkey and a chicken they are more qualified than Muhammad Muhammad he saw shaitan he did not notice that this is shaitan Muhammad saw an angel he did not notice that is an angel he asked his women to do striptease for him to prove that this is an angel which mean a donkey he can recognize if this is shaitan or an angel but Muhammad he cannot do you see the proof and this is Sahih Muslim hadith number 2729 what kind of a prophet this prophet is when Muhammad saw the angel Jibreel in his room first time he told his wife I see someone in the corner his wife she wanted to prove to him if he is shaitan or an angel so what she did she did a striptease party hmm? striptease party oh boy 
all what we need and bring a rooster inside the house you idiot as long Muhammad is the one who taught us this why Muhammad don't bring a rooster inside the room instead of asking his wife to do striptease bring the rooster if the rooster do cuckoo cuckoo that's mean this is an angel and by the way I have a special uh, alarm system around my house I have four roosters and four donkeys in every corner of my house so in case any angel walk by or any shaitan walk by, I will be alarmed immediately and I will grab my gun. Mean. Where Muhammad he got this knowledge from? This is knowledge of the unseen. This is knowledge from God himself, the God of boobies. This is the last thing I will share with you today. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, I hope tomorrow if I can, Christ is Lord and Islam is nothing but a fraud. And this is how we get it busted. See you and God bless you. Take care.